Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Miraculous shifts are happening in your favor right now. So I want you to open your heart and become aware of the synchronicities that are happening in your life. Because synchronicities are like tiny reflections of the positive changes that you're making in your life. So once we are able to see the synchronicities that are present around us, we are able to recognize that actually the efforts we are putting in towards upgrading ourselves, towards greater awareness, towards greater kindness and love for all is making the results. And it can help us to experience greater trust into the process so i want you to awaken some trust right now because yesterday i mentioned to have greater trust into the process than you have into the reasons why something can't work we may find many reasons right that um, our efforts are not creating the wanting results but actually it's not the, the results that we wish to see, but the awareness of our, how well we feel when we're doing what the most resonates with us. So I want to remind you that you don't need to see the whole picture. Just take the first steps with total faith and you will experience the right guidance that will show you what you want or what you need for your next move. So what it means? When you become aware of what can you do, you know, the tiny little steps you can do today, you will experience guidance. It will come through a random thought or through a video or through a certain information. It will find you and it will give you just the right advice or the right push that you need right at this moment to do what you need to do to get where you need to be. So it is an important reminder because so easily we may start to think that we need to see a bigger picture in order to know what to do. But we just need to understand that sometimes all we need is to make the first step, even if we're not sure what we are doing. If we kind of feel like where we want to be, what kind of skill we want to develop, we already know what kind of first steps we need to do. And you know, sometimes it's same as painting. I often mention this story to you. Sometimes I, I have a vision like how the painting should be at the end. But when I start painting it, I, I've noticed that I noticed that like maybe I did a mistake or the painting is not going the way I wanted it to be. But I keep up with the flow. And eventually I recognize that the flow is guiding me into a different direction than I thought it could go. But at the end, the painting is much more meaningful than it was as... I've seen it before or as I've experienced it like an inspiration for that painting. So there's like inspiration that we experience, but then there's the flow of guidance. It's because usually even when we get inspired for something, our mind starts interacting with that sense of inspiration and it starts influencing that inspiration a little bit from our limited perspective and maybe the inspiration that hits us was not truly the way we've experienced it later but when we go with the flow and we do the necessary steps like i keep up with painting and eventually there's a complete painting that is different than the one that I've seen it in my vision. We keep up with the steps and eventually we get to where we need to be. So the next reminder that I want to give you is that letting go is never a loss unless you resist it. 
Surrender everything to your higher self or to your true self, however you want to call it. And it will bring you eternal comfort and peace that everything is always working for you. So as before I mentioned that sometimes you don't need to see the the whole picture, the bigger picture. You just need to make baby steps. And in order to make those baby steps, you also need to let go of what you're resisting to, right? Let go of that resist, like, I will not do it until I see the results. I will quit because it's not making any impact or whatever. Let go of that and you will experience all you need to know to get to where you need to be. Because sometimes you don't know where you need to be. You, you think you know what you want, but you don't know what you truly want until you are completely sure on that heart level that this is what you need to experience. But we are never really sure because we are growing through experiences. We are learning through experiences. So only when we experience something, we are truly sure how it feels like so rather than being so attached to how something should be let go of that attachment and make those baby steps as i mentioned before and just move on let go of what you're resisting by surrendering it you can just say an intention hey my higher self or you can say to your heart I'm releasing it to you. Let me make sure that what I do is the right thing. Bring me to synchronicities that I will know that what I'm doing is the right thing. And it will help you to stay open-minded and open-hearted to see the 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 meanings and and science that what you're doing is the right thing. The third reminder I want to give you here is that all suffering is a design from your soul, your your higher self, your true self, to bring you back to your peaceful center. And that is something that is hard to understand, because how the suffering can bring you back to your peaceful center. But the truth is, that when you learn to see good in what you describe as bad, you will get in peace with yourself. But not just that, you will learn something new about yourself. You will expand your perspective on things. You may say, well, the world is going crazy and that's bad. But at the same time, millions of people are waking up, billions of people maybe, are waking up right now questioning beliefs and therefore awakening themselves to a complete new understanding that nobody will save us but for the whole time we were our own savers like when you open up yourself to that new perspective that you when you recognize that only you can save you You will detach from anything that is not allowing you to be your greatest you, right? Why should you be attached to something that is downgrading your inner peace? Why would you be attached to something that is constantly triggering anger and sadness within you? So we become aware of what is holding us back, what is lowering down our energy, And we take care of that. We take care of what can we do about it, right? So that's why your higher self is always bringing you uh, different events and experiences that may trigger some suffering within you so you can deal with what is holding you back. It is only happening at the beginning of that uh, journey of awakening And then it may happen if you lose yourself in the process. But the purpose of that is always to get you back into the inner peace. So if you find yourself suffering right now, 
pay close attention to what is causing the, the suffering. And remember that the cause of the suffering is always within you. It's not in your neighbor, it's not in your parents, it's not in your partner. It's in that side of you, in that aspect of you that is seeing the bad in other person. Of course, when somebody was misleaded or is poisoned with too much of traumas and so on, the behaviors of that person may be toxic for you but it's not your problem the only thing you can give them is love and if you don't have love to give them you need to give love to yourself and if you still feel that you have nothing to give you need to let go of them so you can recharge yourself and that is something important to remember because most probably one day those people will come back or Similar people to those people will come back to test you again how well you are able to take care of those triggers or if the triggers are still present. And that's how we see the growth that is happening within us. So this is something truly, truly important because it's not about letting off anything that is triggering us. It's about taking care of the triggers. It's about recognizing what's causing pain within us. And let's heal that aspect of ourselves. Let's see what can we do. Another reminder that I will give you here is to forgive everyone, including yourself. Everyone is doing the best they can from their current level of understanding. Therefore, seek greater understanding above all else. So what it means? Like I mentioned before, sometimes people may trigger us in so many different ways just because they don't know how to deal with the suffering and pain they're moving through. So all they know is to express it and maybe it just happened that you've crossed their path and they've started expressing their pain to you. And it's just something they are moving through and it happened that you were a victim of that process. But forgiving everyone will help you to release what happened to you. It will help you to let go of what was thrown into you. And again, you will learn something new about how to handle those kind of situations next time. Could you be more honest with them? Could you handle it differently? Or could you just not pay attention so much to it? Remember that when you are forgiving to others, you are actually let, letting go of the suffering within you. So forgiveness is always happening for your liberation. And your liberation will help you to make this world lighter. Because once you liberate yourself from suffering, you will change. You will become lighter your thinking patterns will change. You will start seeing life in more positive way. And because of that, you will also start projecting more positive thoughts towards the world. You will start using kinder words, more positive words. And because of that, also your actions will change. And when your actions will change, the results you're experiencing will change. And when the results will change, you will notice that when, you're, when, when you've liberated yourself from pain and suffering, you've actually initiated that whole domino effect into a positive direction. And you see you've just plugged yourself into a new flow. That's something beautiful to see. My friends, remind yourself that you are already enough as you are another reminder for you. You are already enough as you are. And you've heard it before. But what it means? You know, when you surrender all your ideas that say otherwise, and you may find many different reasons why you're not enough. Those are all illusions made by society. 
you know you go on ins- uh, on social media and you find somebody living in what you do- would describe as a beautiful house and maybe that person has a beautiful partner and maybe that person on photos looks happier than you or whatever is the scenario it's all an illusion because a person who is truly happy don't feel a need to post it on social media you know when you're truly happy is the first thought to post it on social media no it's just go outside and express your happiness with others let's awaken some happiness in others let's do something you love right let's just be yourself and that's true happiness and people who are actually posting their happy pictures on social media are people that are suffering the most because they want to be seen as successful as happy as whatever because that's what they are lacking the most so don't be misled by social media but rather use social media for an expression of your truth if you are in pain well maybe share something that uh, may help others to recognize that even pain is a process of growth and by acknowledging the pain and accepting the pain we can transform pain into process and that's something powerful we can do so don't be misled by illusions that are telling you that you're not enough the only person that will ever tell you that you are enough is yourself so stop seeking that proof in others you are and you always will be enough but the question is can you see it can you feel it and can you experience it and that's the mission that you are walking on right before you can be a truly bright light for others you need to be a light for yourself and to be a light for yourself you need to feel that you are already enough and if you're wondering how to experience that you are enough well recognize the thoughts that are telling you that you are not and question them and journaling can be a powerful practice for that because it will help you to go beyond your beliefs make an interview with yourself and question everything you think about yourself and see how much truth is within it because you know even our reality is a big illusion sometimes we may think that we are lacking money and we will say that we are not enough well the wholeness lives within you if there is a lack of money see what can you do about it but don't be defined by it when there is lack of love present within your reality it doesn't mean that there is no love within you your heart is beating isn't that a manifestation of love your brain is working blood is flowing through your veins that's love my friends so see how can you feel more of that love so we can start projecting it into the world because when you start projecting love into the world love will find you back that's how everything works when you start projecting more creativity into the world more ideas will find you when you project more abundance into the world more abundance will find you how to project abundance into the world well everything can be in abundant abundant abundance of great ideas right share some great ideas with the world and more abundance will find you in different forms abundance of joy can you be more joyful can you share your joy with others abundance of peace can you embody that peace and share it with others more peace will find you more abundance will find you that's how everything works my friends and that's it for today my friends wholeness lives within you more you learn to tap into it more you will feel it more you will feel it easier it will be for you to embody it and more you will embody it more you will be acting like it and more you will be acting like it 
more you will experience it. So this is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting by the name Luck. Luck is on your side. Always remind yourself that because luck is what starts happening to us when we embody that inner wholeness, when we start following the calling of the heart and we start doing the things that we just feel that those are, those are the right things to do. This is what feels right. Even if it's unpleasant, even if it's hard, even if we are afraid of it, we know that we need to do it. When you start doing that, lucky things will find you. So this is it, my friends. Thanks to all of you for supporting my art in my Etsy shop. You're all truly appreciated. Till next time, one love.